Welcome back, I'm back, you're back, hey, we back. Welcome everyone to this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV, guys. The most exciting time of the NBA season is here right now, guys. The NBA playoffs have arrived, and you know, I gotta insert my first round predictions. In this video, I'll be giving my first round Western Conference predictions for the playoffs this year, guys. But here are my Western Conference first round predictions. But wait, I gotta make sure I remind you to subscribe to the Ultimate Sports TV. Because if you are not subscribed, you're missing out on so much, people. Because this is the hot spot. You get lots and lots of hot from the Ultimate Sports TV spot with NBA and NFL content. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join the TOS TV squad. Then would you please like this video for me, please share this video and YouTube channel, then comment down below your Western Conference first round predictions down in the comment section below guys. But now, let's get to these Western Conference first round predictions, let's get it. To get this off rolling, I got my Lakers and Suns series prediction. I got the Lakers winning this series 4-2 in a six game series, guys. Yes, I have the Lakers winning this series. Although I do have some concerns with them at this time with their injuries, with the meshing as a team on offense, and with them spacing the floor with Anthony Davis and Andre Drummond, I think all of these things will be fixed by the middle of the Suns series because they have talent on their team and because they have LeBron. All of LeBron's teams always end up figuring something out because they have a great leader on their team. Now, while LeBron is not going to be all the way 100%, I believe he's going to be good enough. He's still going to be incredible enough for the Lakers to pull out this series win. I love how the Lakers play defense. I like their offense. And when it comes down to all of this, I just think it comes down to experience. The Lakers are the defending champs, and the Suns have Chris Paul and really no one else on that roster who has really been to the playoffs. So it comes down to experience, but because the Lakers do have holes on the roster I think it'll go to six or maybe even seven games but I do think the Lakers ultimately end up winning this series I like the Lakers depth better than the Suns and I also like how they fare well while guarding the Suns guards you've got Alex Caruso who played well on Steph Curry the other night and has been a good defender throughout his career and then you have Dennis Shooter who was one of the best defending guards in all of the league so while you're not going to absolutely shut down Devin Booker and Chris Paul I do think you can do a farewell job really trying to slow them down and attempting and doing really to slow them down but you can't stop them so I think they do a good job slowing them down now when it comes to the inside Andre Drummond and Anthony Davis two good defenders in the paint I think they do a good job stopping DeAndre Ayton when I look at the Suns roster other than Jay Crowder and Mikael Bridges I don't really see them having better depth than the Lakers and when you add that to the equivalent of knowing the Suns don't have as much experience as the Lakers I'd say the Lakers win this series obviously in six games Moving along, I think the Trailblazers beat the Nuggets in a seven-game series. And obviously, we know Jamal Murray will not be playing in this series. He's out for the season, and that's going to give the Denver Nuggets some problems in this series because they won't have a good defender to really stick with Damian Lillard or stick with C.J. McCollum consistently. But there's also going to be a problem for the Trailblazers, too, because they don't have a single center that can play defense to really stick on with Nikolai Jokic. He's going to carry this team to seven games because he's just going to be dominant inside this whole game. But when you have two players like CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard, along with the depth you have as the Blazers and getting better as a defensive team, better than from last year, then I see the Blazers winning this series and barely edging out because their guards will dominate this series and they have the depth to go along with that. While the Denver Nuggets do have depth with MPJ, while they do have Will Barton, while they do have Monte Morris, I just think the Blazers' depth outweighs this. And when it comes to the clutch, hey, the Nuggets really only have one player to come in the clutch now because when you had Jamal Murray, you had that other player. Now you only have Nikolai Jokic. While the Blazers really arguably have Damian Lillard, they have CJ McCollum, and really you could even really account for Carmelo being in that mix there. So I like their depth. I like their clutchness over the Nuggets. I do think Nikolai Jokic will carry this series to seven games though, but ultimately I like the Trailblazers to prevail over the Nuggets because of what they have on the right and because of what the Nuggets don't have to match them up. So the Blazers are winning this series in seven games. I think it's going to be a well-fought series. Now let's move on to the next one. 
moving on I got the Clippers over the Mavericks in six games now I just think the Clippers one up the Mavericks and everything and they're just more dynamic we expect the Clippers to be a good team and to compete for a championship now they one up them in offense they one up them in defense and to me they have a slightly better roster with good bigs to try and defend Kristaps Porzingis they've got Serge Ibaka and they've got Zubak two good bigs to try and stop Chris Kristaps Porzingis now when it comes to Paul George we'll see what he can do but I think he's motivated and I think he's good enough to have a good series in this one we know what Kawhi is going to do we know what Luka Doncic is going to do but to me it's mainly going to come down to who can win inside because both of these teams are pretty nice at scoring from the outside to me it's going to matter who wins in the paint in this one because I like the bigs and depth at the bigs that both teams have and I think ultimately the Clippers can win that matchup because of really the depth they they have and the defense that they have at the bigs position also knowing they've got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and some excellent defense guys so that's my prediction for the Dallas Mavericks and LA Clippers series right here I think the Clippers win this one in six games Wrapping up my Western Conference first round predictions, I've got the Jazz beating the Memphis Grizzlies in a five game series. Now I love what the Grizzlies did to win over the Warriors and to win over the Spurs. They have clutch three point shooters and they can play very, very good defense with John Morant, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas, and all of the good defensive players they have. But the Utah Jazz are just a different animal. Look, they're the first seed for a reason and their scheme is incredible and they have the perfect players to unlock their scheme and they've definitely done that this year they take more threes than anyone and they make more threes than anyone they're the ultimate three and deep team when you have a system like this they have the players to unlock that system like Donovan Mitchell like Jordan Clarkson like Bogdan Bogdanovich like Joe Ingles like Rudy Gobert they're the ultimate three and D team I love the Jazz depth I love their defense Although I do love the Grizzlies defense, which I think will help them pull one game out of the series, and especially how I like the Grizzlies three-point shooting, but ultimately the Jazz are just a better team, the Jazz have more depth than the Grizzlies, and the Jazz are just a different animal than the Warriors or the Spurs, which were who the Grizzlies played in the playing game, guys. So I'm giving this series to the Jazz in five games. I think Donovan Mitchell and John Morant could have a pretty enticing series as they go back and forth, guys. But these are my Western Conference first round predictions. Please give yours in the the comment section below guys other than that this is malik hicks aka the rank of the ultimate sports tv signing off peace out and i'll see you in my next one